Hi there, my name is Sebastian Straub. I'm a system engineer here at N2W, and thank you for joining me once more in the continuation of our configuration video for Cloud Protection Manager. As you remember last time, we created a policy and a schedule to back up our workload, our web server, and let's take a closer look now. So my backup has now finished, and my disaster recovery backup has also finished. So this is important. You need to make sure that not only the backup finishes, but also your disaster recovery recovery finishes. So let's take a closer look at Cloud Protection Manager and the recovery of this information. So over here on the right side of the screen, that's my recover button. So if I click on that, then I get a few more options. So I can restore it either to the region where the data originally came from, or I also have the option to recover it to my disaster recovery region. If you remember, that's the region that we chose under the DR button. Over here on the right side of the screen, now I have the option to recover the data in different modes. The first one is instance recovery. This is going to recover the entire instance plus all of the volumes that are attached to it. This process is not even going to touch the original instance because Cloud Protection Manager has the ability to recover the information in any region in any account of my choosing. Now, the next one is volumes only recovery. This is going to touch the original instance because essentially it will switch out the volume. And last but not least, that's my explore functionality. That's going to give me the option to actually do a file level recovery. I can pick and choose which folders, which files I want to recover from the data. So let's do something bold now. Let's do something fun. What we're going to do is we'll switch to my EC2 console. That's the web server that we just backed up. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do something crazy. I'm going to terminate my web server. There we go. So that information is on the way out. So right now it's shutting down. It's going to terminate my web server. Let's just pretend that that accidentally happened or maybe a configuration error on our server. And well, the information just isn't good anymore. So what we're going to do now is we're going to use Cloud Protection Manager to recover this information. So let me switch back to my Cloud Protection Manager. So what we're going to do is we're going to do an instance recovery. So I'm going to click on instance. And that gives us a few more options here. So under advanced options, I could choose to spin this into a different availability zone, different VPC, different subnet if I wanted to. I even have the option to assign a different security group to it. Also, if I wanted to, I have the option to change the instance type that the original data was in. And also quite interesting is we do preserve tags. So if you do have custom tags on the data that you're backing up, Cloud Protection Manager will preserve the tags, apply them to the backups, and then when we recover the data, it will also reapply those tags to the recovered information. All right, so what we're gonna do next is I'm going to blank this IP address because I don't use static IPs, but if you do, that's where you have the option to choose which IP you want chosen for the instance that we're going to recover now. The next part is down here, that's my recover instance button. If I click on that, I'm gonna say, are you sure you wanna do this? You wanna recover this instance? Absolutely, I'm sure. Let's hit the okay button. And that's going to kick off the recovery. So here we have recovery operation is launched. Please follow progress in the recovery monitor. So if I'm going to go to my home, over here on the right side of the screen, you do have the recovery monitor. If you choose this, you can see that currently the recovery of my web server is in progress. And if you really wanted to, you even have the option to take a closer look at your EC2 console. All I have to do is just simply refresh that screen, and then it's going to show us the instances that we have in that region. So as you can see, that's the data that's currently being recovered. That's the old one that we just terminated. That's the data that we are now recovering. So in a moment, that is actually going to show as a fully functional instance. That's really how easy it is. And that entire process isn't going to take a long time. It takes about 30 seconds, 45 seconds for the instance type that I've chosen. Now, you can also try this out with instances that are much larger than my web server. But for now, this is what we did, and it works. Thank you very much for joining us. And also, don't forget to join the other configuration videos because there are a couple more things that we're going to show you in the configuration.